Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. To see my collection of beautiful rocks and minerals that I have prospected from the, across the United States and other countries, type in on YouTube, Rock and Mineral Identification, followed by my name, Frank Riser, space, capital M period, capital S period. Riser is spelled R-E-I-S-E-R. I encourage you to watch my geology and rock and mineral prospecting videos and get out there into the field and prospect for your own beautiful rocks and minerals. You can support my channel on Patreon. On Patreon, simply type in my name, Frank Riser, capital M period, capital S period. And I appreciate your financial donations the money of which goes to me buying more materials to bring you fascinating science demonstrations. Thank you very much for your support. Today's demonstration is on the Van de Graaff Generator. What is the Van de Graaff Generator and how does it work? The Van de Graaff Generator is an electrostatic generator that produces high voltages, extremely high voltages. So let's take a look at my Van de Graaff Generator. This is a Van de Graaff generator. This size produces 500,000 volts of electrostatic electricity on the upper dome. The Van de Graaff generator was developed by Robert J. Van de Graaff in 1929, although previous experiments and contributions to its generation were produced starting in the mid-1850s. An electrostatic generator, such as the Van de Graaff generator, can be enclosed in a vacuum where it can then act as an atom smasher or particle accelerator. You simply place the Van de Graaff generator in a evacuated tube and surround it with electrons and atoms. The atoms the electrostatic energy of the Van de Graaff breaks apart the nuclei of the atoms and accelerates protons. Van de Graaff generators are used in entertainment such as the Boston, Mu Boston Museum of Science which has a three-story Van de Graaff generator, nuclear physics, and nuclear chemistry. Let's take a look at how it works. I'll remove the upper dome. And I'll remove the lower dome. These are the two electrodes. Now let's take a look. In the base, we have a motor that propels a propeller, propeller, and inside the uh, shaft, as the motor rotates, it rotates a belt on the lower drum that is made of a specific material. The belt is here. As the belt rotates, it gains electrostatic energy and deposits it on top of a roller on top made of a different substance, non-conductive substances. On the other side is a screen that attaches to the belt. The screen will deposit a positive electrostatic charge onto the upper electrode or the dome. So let's take a look at how it works. Now I replace the domes.
and you can still hear it holding a charge. Now my Vandegraaff isn't operating at the highest voltage at 500,000 volts because when it does so, it discharges on its own, not when I'm holding my arm near it. And this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals, always reminding you to find those beautiful rocks and minerals to just keep looking down.